Hey everyone, and welcome back for another deep dive. Yeah. Today, uh, we're going to be looking at multi-vendor marketplace software. Ooh, yeah. You know those platforms that are kind of like bringing together all these different sellers? Like the online shopping malls? Yeah, exactly. Think of like Amazon or Etsy or eBay. Yeah, and these platforms are really only getting bigger. Oh, absolutely. The projections for e-commerce by 2025 are like $6.3 trillion. Huge. And a lot of that growth is going to be driven by these multi-vendor setups, right? Exactly. It's kind of wild how we're seeing this whole shift of like physical shopping malls to online ones. Yeah. And luckily, this article we've got really breaks it all down for us. Yeah, we'll look at what multi-vendor marketplace software is, why it's becoming so popular. And all the things you need to know if you want to jump into this world. Whether you're thinking of being a marketplace owner. Or even a vendor. Yeah, exactly. Perfect. So for anyone out there who's hearing this term, multi-vendor marketplace software for the first time. Right. Can we get a quick definition? Sure. So imagine like a digital shopping mall. Okay. That's essentially what this software does. It allows all these sellers or vendors to like set up their shops on one platform. Right. And you as the marketplace owner manage the whole site. So you handle stuff like payments and set like the ground rules basically. Yeah. And of course it's all designed so customers can easily browse and buy stuff. Gotcha. So that makes sense. But why is this model becoming so popular? Well, for one thing, it can really lower operating costs for the marketplace owner. Oh, how so? Well, think about it. You don't have to manage inventory or ship products. Right. You're not even creating your own product line. Nope. The vendors take care of all of that. So you're basically creating this platform where other businesses can succeed. Yeah. And while they succeed, you build your own business. Exactly. It's a pretty smart model. Pretty clever. Yeah. And on the vendor side, what are the advantages? Well, they get to tap into this existing customer base that you've built for the marketplace. That's huge. And they get all this infrastructure they need, like payment processing, marketing tools, even customer support. Wow. So it's all provided through the marketplace software. Exactly. I like how the article really emphasizes this win-win aspect. Yeah. Everyone benefits. Customers get a wider selection of products. Vendors get a ready-made platform. And the marketplace owner gets to oversee it all. That's the beauty of it. So it's all sunshine and roses then. Well, almost. Okay, so let's get into the nitty gritty. What are some of the must have features of this software? Okay, so first off, you need easy vendor management tools. Makes sense. You've got to be able to onboard new vendors, track their performance and communicate with them, you know? Yeah, because you're dealing with tons of vendors. It could get pretty messy pretty fast. Exactly. You need a system that makes it easy to manage all that. What else? Secure payment integration is super crucial. For obvious reasons. Yeah, you need to make sure transactions are processed smoothly and securely. And that everyone gets paid on time. Absolutely. We're talking multiple payment gateway options, fraud prevention, all that good stuff. Now, how about commissions? How does the marketplace owner actually get their cut? Right. So good software will have flexible commission structures. So you can like set different rates for different vendors. Exactly. Or even for different product categories. Interesting. So you could have different tiers of pricing depending on how much a vendor is selling. Exactly. You could offer a free tier for someone starting out and then premium tiers with more features and lower commission rates. That's really flexible. It's about having options and finding a system that works for everyone. Makes sense. Yeah. So we've got vendor management, payments, commissions, all that good stuff. What about the products themselves? Right. So you'll need robust order and shipping tools, too. To keep track of everything. Yeah. Your system needs to be able to track inventory levels, automate order processing, provide tracking information to vendors and customers. Gotcha. Yeah. So that covers the logistics side of things. Mm -hmm. What about customer reviews? Oh, yeah. That's really important. Especially in a multi-vendor setup where trust is so key. Right. You need a way to build that trust and make sure the quality of products stays high. So how does that work with the software? Well, a good platform will have a built-in review system. I see. Customers can rate products, leave feedback, and you as the owner can moderate those reviews to prevent any spam or abuse. Smart. So it's about creating a transparent and trustworthy environment for everyone involved. Exactly. Perfect. Yeah. Okay, so we've got a good handle on, like, the basic must-haves. Yeah. But the article also talks about some potential pitfalls you want to avoid when choosing multi-vendor marketplace software. Oh, right. And I'm guessing scalability is a big one. Huge. Yeah. You got to be thinking big picture, right? Absolutely. What happens when your marketplace just blows up? Exactly. You need a platform that can actually handle all that growth. Without like crashing or slowing down? Right. That would be a nightmare. It would. Imagine having all this momentum and then your tech can't keep up. Oof. No thanks. <laughs> 
Another thing that's often overlooked is how easy it is for vendors to use the platform. Oh, interesting. If it's clunky or difficult to use, you're not going to attract good sellers. Yeah, they're going to go elsewhere. Exactly. So user friendliness is super important. Absolutely. And think about it from the vendor's perspective. Okay. They're busy running their own businesses. Right. They don't want to be wrestling with some complicated platform. <laughs> so it needs to be intuitive. Yeah. Smooth, onboarding, clear instructions, all of that. Make it easy for them. Exactly. Happy vendors make a thriving marketplace. Makes sense. And I guess these days, mobile optimization is just a given. Oh, absolutely. Everyone's on their phone. Yeah. If your marketplace doesn't work well on a phone. You're going to lose customers. And vendors. The article also mentions customization options. Oh, great. How important is that in a multi-vendor setup? It's super important. Why is that? It allows vendors to really create unique storefronts that reflect their brand. No, oh, I see. Think like custom banners, color schemes, even their product descriptions. Makes them stand out. Exactly. And it creates a more visually appealing marketplace overall. I bet vendors love that. Oh, yeah. Especially those who are really trying to build a strong brand identity. Does the article say anything about how effective that is? It does, actually. Studies show that customizable storefronts can boost brand recognition by like 30%. Wow, that's a lot. It is. It's a huge advantage in such a crowded online space. Okay, so going back to something you mentioned earlier about secure payment integration, mm -hmm. what does that actually look like in practice? Okay, so for you as the marketplace owner, it's about making sure all those transactions are processed securely and efficiently. Makes sense. You need a system that can handle multiple payment gateways, detect fraud, automate payouts to your vendors. So you're not like manually transferring money to a million different accounts. Uh-huh, exactly. And then for the customer, it's about making the checkout experience smooth and trustworthy. So things like multiple payment options, clear pricing. And of course, top-notch security to protect their information. The article mentions something called split payments. Oh, yeah? What's that all about? Okay, so... Imagine a customer buys products from three different vendors in one order. Okay. Split payments allow the system to automatically divide up that payment and send the correct amount to each vendor. Wow, that's super handy. It is. It really streamlines the whole process. Saves a ton of time and hassle. Exactly. And speaking of streamlining, let's talk about vendor subscription management. Vendor subscription management? Yeah. I haven't heard of that one. So it's basically a way to offer different tiers of participation for your vendors. Oh, interesting. You can have a basic free tier with limited features. Okay. And then premium tiers with things like lower commission rates, better marketing tools, priority support. So it's kind of like a tiered pricing model, but for vendors? Yeah, exactly. Gee, clever. It incentivizes vendors to upgrade and invest more in your marketplace. And it gives them the flexibility to choose the plan that works best for them. Right. It's a win-win. So it seems like there's a lot to think about when choosing the right multi-vendor marketplace software. There is. It can feel overwhelming. But luckily, we have this article to help guide us. Exactly. It breaks down the pros and cons of different solutions and gives you a framework for making a decision. Before we jump into specific platforms, though, yeah. let's talk about the big question. Okay. Ready-made versus custom solutions. Ah, uh, yes. The eternal debate. So ready-made solutions are kind of like the out-of-the-box option, right? Yeah. You can think of them like pre-built platforms that you can customize to a certain degree. Like getting a website template. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you have a basic framework to work with. But you add your own branding and content. Right. But the thing is, there are limitations. Like what? You might not have as much flexibility in terms of design or functionality. I see. And you're kind of stuck with whatever the software provider offers in terms of updates and support. So what about custom solutions then? What are the advantages there? Well, with custom solutions, you have complete control. Control over what? Over everything. The design, the functionality, the features. So if you have a really unique vision for your marketplace, yeah. custom might be the way to go. Exactly. But of course, there are downsides. Right. Well, custom solutions are way more expensive. I bet. And they take a lot longer to develop. Yeah, that makes sense. So you really have to weigh the pros and cons. You do. Yeah. You have to consider your budget, your time constraints, your technical expertise. And how unique your marketplace needs to be. Right. Now, are there any other options besides ready-made and custom? There are, actually. Some platforms are kind of like hybrids. Hybrids. Yeah, they combine elements of both. 
Oh, interesting. Like Shopify Plus, for example. Okay. It's primarily known for single vendor stores, but they've been adding more multi-vendor features. So you can build a marketplace on Shopify. You can. And the advantage there is that Shopify has a massive app marketplace. Oh, wow. So you can find tons of add-ons and integrations to basically do anything you want. So you could find an app for like advanced marketing or loyalty programs. Exactly. Or even integration with specific shipping carriers. That's pretty cool. It is. The only downside is that you might need a bunch of different apps to get all the functionality you want. And that could get pricey. It could. What about CS Cart? Have you heard of them? Yeah, I think so. They offer a platform specifically designed for multi-vendor marketplaces. Oh, really? It's called CS Cart Multi-Vendor, and it has tons of features for both marketplace owners and vendors. It sounds impressive. It is. They've really thought of everything. So they offer things like vendor management and flexible commissions. Oh, yeah. And advanced order processing built-in marketing features. Wow. So they're kind of like a hybrid, too. Like somewhere between WebNexus and Whitecart. Yeah, you could say that. They have the powerful features, but they're also user-friendly and designed specifically for marketplaces. Exactly. Definitely sounds like a strong contender. They are. Especially if you're looking for that balance between functionality and affordability. Wow. Okay, so we've covered a lot of ground here. We have. We talked about must-have features, potential pitfalls, the ready-made versus custom debate, mm -hmm. and even got a little preview of some specific platforms. It's a lot to take in. It is. Yeah. But it's clear that there's no one-size-fits-all solution. Absolutely. The right platform for you depends on your specific needs, your budget, and your long-term goals. So how do people even start navigating all these choices? Well, the article lays out a step-by-step -step guide. Oh, perfect. And it starts with the most basic question. What are your business needs? So step one is all about getting clear on what you're trying to achieve. Exactly. What are uh -huh. you selling? Yeah. Who are your customers? How many vendors do you want? What are your revenue goals? Yeah, you have to answer all these questions before you even start looking at software. You need to know where you're going before you can figure out how to get there. Right. Then once you have a good understanding of your needs, you can move on to step two two which is focusing on key features ah uh, so this is where that checklist comes in handy exactly you prioritize the features that are most important to your business vendor management payments shipping all that good stuff mm -hmm. and don't forget about those nice to have features that can give you an edge like what things like advanced analytics marketing automation even ai powered features new fancy right but the point is to stay focused on what matters most for your specific business. Okay, so step three. Step three is assessing scalability. So thinking long term. Exactly. Can the platform handle your growth? Can it support more traffic, more transactions? Because as we said before, you don't want to hit a wall just as your marketplace is taken off. Right. And closely related to scalability is step four, prioritizing security and support. Super important. You need a platform that's reliable, that takes data protection seriously, and that offers good customer support. Because when you're dealing with sensitive customer data and financial transactions. Yeah, you can't afford to mess around. And finally, step five. Step five is all about doing your research. <sighs> so reading reviews. Exactly. Yeah. See what other marketplace owners are saying about different platforms. It's like checking reviews before you buy anything online. It is. You want to see what real users are experiencing, not just what the marketing materials tell you. Makes sense. User reviews can be super insightful. They can. They can reveal things you might not find anywhere else. Okay, so we've talked about all these things to consider. Features, pitfalls, and all that. Right. Now I want to hear about some actual platforms. Yeah, let's get into some real-world examples. The article focuses on two in particular. Webnex and Whitecart. Okay, I've heard of those. They're interesting to compare because they take pretty different approaches. Okay, so let's start with Webnex. What's their deal? They're all about flexibility and customization. Oh, so like for bigger companies? Yeah, they can handle complex business models, high volumes of transactions. If you're planning to scale up quickly. Exactly. Webnex is a good one to look at. What kind of features do they offer? Tons of stuff. Right. Advanced vendor management tools, multi-language support. They can even help you create mobile apps for your marketplace. That's pretty cool. They're also big on security and compliance. Which is essential these days. Absolutely. But I'm guessing all this comes at a price. It does. Webnex is definitely more for businesses with a bigger budget. Yeah, that makes sense. Their pricing is usually a monthly subscription. And it varies depending on what features you need. Exactly. Okay, so if someone's on a tighter budget, what's a good option? WeCart is a popular choice. What makes them different? Well, they're known for being simple and affordable. Oh, nice. Yeah. 
Their platform is really user-friendly, even for beginners. Easy to use. Exactly. They offer all the core features like vendor management, order processing, basic marketing tools. Sounds like a good starting point. It is. And their pricing is very competitive. Plus, they have good customer support. Yeah, which is great if you're new to all this. But there's got to be a catch, right? Well, WeCart is great for getting started. Why? They might not be the best if you have ambitious growth plans. Ah. Their platform isn't as customizable as Webnex. And they might not be able to handle the same volume. Exactly. So it really depends on your needs. Makes sense. So it's a trade-off. It is. You have to decide what's most important to you. Easy of use and affordability or scalability and those advanced features. Exactly. Now, their article also mentions a couple of other platforms. Like Shopify and CS Cart. Yeah, I was wondering about those. What about Shopify? Everyone's heard of them. Right. Well, Shopify is huge in the e-commerce world. Yeah, mostly for single vendor stores though, right? Yeah, but they've been adding more multi-vendor features. Oh, interesting. So you can actually build a marketplace on Shopify now. You can. And the advantage there is that Shopify has this massive app marketplace. Oh, yeah. I've heard about that. You can find apps for almost anything. So you could add advanced marketing features or loyalty programs. Exactly. Or integrate with specific shipping carriers. It's like a one-stop shop. It is. The only downside is that you might end up needing several apps. And that could get expensive. It could. So it's something to keep in mind. Okay, what about CS Cart? CS Card is interesting because they have a platform specifically designed for multi-vendor marketplaces. Oh, really? Yeah, it's called CS Cart Multi-Vendor. What's so special about it? Well, it comes with all sorts of features that are perfect for both marketplace owners and vendors. Like what? They have great vendor management tools, flexible commission structures, advanced order processing, even built-in marketing features. Wow, they really thought of everything. They did, and they're known for their security and customer support. So they're kind of like a hybrid of WebNexes and Waycart? Yeah, I guess you could say that. Powerful features, but still user-friendly and specifically for marketplaces. Exactly. Sounds like they're worth checking out. Definitely. If you're looking for that balance between functionality and affordability. Well, this has been super helpful. I'm glad. We've learned so much about multi-vendor marketplace software. We have. It's a fascinating world. It is, and it's clearly a growing trend. Yeah, absolutely. More and more businesses are moving online. And marketplaces are becoming the go-to model. They offer so many advantages for everyone involved. So if you're thinking about launching your own marketplace. Or even just curious about how they work. This deep dive is hopefully giving you a good foundation. We've covered a lot of ground. The benefits, the features, the potential pitfalls. And of course, some of the leading platforms out there. The key takeaway is that there's no one right answer. Exactly. The best platform for you depends on your specific needs. So do your research, compare your options, and don't be afraid to ask questions. And remember to focus on building a marketplace that provides real value to your vendors and your customers. That's the key to success in this exciting and ever-evolving space. Thanks for joining us for this deep dive into the world of multi-vendor marketplace software. It's been a pleasure. We'll be back soon with another exploration of a fascinating topic. Until then, keep learning, keep exploring, and keep pushing the boundaries of what's possible.